welcome to the 2023 Gaia Conference. <laughs> and welcome back to Svenska Messan. I'm so happy to see you all here today, all 650 of you. We are sold out and there is a lot of people who wish they were here and you were on time. Thanks for that. I'm Jacob, chairman of Gaia, and I'm here to introduce the day for you today. Gaia is a nonprofit association promoting the interest in machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science in Gothenburg. We are more about learning, about doing, and about doing it together for a better tomorrow. Today, we have a full schedule with very interesting talks in two different tracks. First, we start with our keynote here in the big hall. After that, we split into two tracks, one here and one in the hall next doors. After the first two talks in those sessions, we go for a short coffee break, 15 minutes. Uh, and after that break, we go back for three additional talks in each uh, track. And then it's time for lunch. During the lunch, uh, which is served out in the exhibition hall, uh, you will have the time to network, maybe uh, get some new friends, uh, talk to old friends, uh, because we are a community and it's about that too. Uh, but also talk with our partners. Um, after one and a half hour, we are back in these halls, uh, the two halls, for three additional talks. Um, then we have a slightly longer break with some fika, uh, also out in the exhibition hall, 30 minutes, and then the final three uh, talks in the sessions. And quarter to five, we gather all in here again for the closing remarks. After a full day of networking and impressions, you will need some time to unwind. Uh, talk about what you've learned about the impressions um, and network with people with similar interests. So we have an after conference in the same area here where we serve lunch. Um, uh, and there we will have so, some bubbles, uh, there will be a bar if you are interested in something different or something extra. Um, and the bubbles are on Cognic, uh, so say thanks to them. Networking is a very big part of any conference experience. This year we want to do it slightly differently. We believe that talking about the content of the day, uh, the presentations and all the impressions is a very good way to start conversations. Maybe you noticed that just outside the doors here, there are tables with different colors. That's uh, a networking area where you can find other people interested in talking about what they just heard. Maybe uh, the speakers will pass by as well. Um, so go there if you have things you want to discuss, could be anything, uh, but in particular about the talks. It will be free form, uh, so, so no steering from our side, uh, but hopefully you will find like-minded people there. Then during the after conference, we will also have a more structured networking session. Uh, there are posters in the venue uh, with more information and where you can also sign up. You have until uh, 1.30 to sign up. Uh, there are limited seats, so go read those in, in the breaks and sign up. Um, we will be recording the event today uh, and uploading uh, everything to our YouTube channel afterwards. So don't fear missing out if there are two talks in parallel that you really want to hear. We will be uploading them and making them available afterwards. 
questions. If you have questions, raise your hand and someone will come with a microphone. It's really important that you wait on the microphone, otherwise the people in the audience will not hear your question and the people watching online afterwards will not hear your question. So raise your hand and someone will come with a microphone. We have time for a few questions uh, after each session. If you have further questions that we don't have time for, use the networking area. This event would not be possible without our partners. They are really what makes us able to host this event. And they enable us to make it affordable for everyone. They are also a very important part of the community of machine learning and data science in Gothenburg. So I want to extend a huge thanks to all of them for making this possible. Do make sure to visit their booths out in the exhibition hall and talk to them about what they are doing and all the cool challenges they have. All of them have a lot of challenges, I'm sure. And we all love, love those, right? Today is our fifth conference. We started back in 2018. And back then, things were quite different. There was a lot of hype. Um, we had just learned that attention is all we need. We had learned about transformers. Alpha Zero was making the news. That's how far ago that is. Since then, we have had massive progress. We have seen huge changes to the tech. We have seen a lot of new applications using machine learning and all the cool things we build. The industry has matured. We as a community has matured. A lot of things have progressed. But we also learned about challenges. We have learned about deep fakes. We learned about the importance of ethics in everything that's scaling um, biased systems. Since last year, there's been even <laughs> more progress and more change. About the time of this conference last year, DALI 2 was released. We saw Flamingo, Imogen, GitHub Copilot. During summer, we had Midjourney and Stable Diffusion making huge leaps in image generation. In November, ChatGPT was released. Maybe you noticed. <laughs> in five days, they had one million users, and in two months, 100 million users. The fastest growing app ever, by a big margin. I think um, TikTok took nine months or something like that for reaching 100 million users. And if I had prepared my slides in time, I would have stopped there. But the last few weeks, we've seen Bing Chat, GPT-4, GitHub Copilot X, Microsoft Copilot, a lot of new both models and applications on the same. So there's a huge progress. But some say it's actually going too fast. That we need to think about ethics and alignment. Our keynote speaker from last year, Ole Hegström, already then, maybe I shouldn't say already then, uh, but he did talk about the importance of alignment last year. Recently, we've seen warnings from important figures in the industry like uh, Hinton. We've seen Italy ban ChatGPT for privacy concerns. And I assume you all seen uh, the Future of Life Institute's open letter about pausing the giant AI experiment. So what do you think? Are we moving too fast? Or will the progress be worth it? I believe that the technology and applications for major disruption is already here, just it's not evenly spread yet. I believe the coming year will show a lot of change to many industries and to many disciplines, including programming. 
If you are curious about the different perspectives on generative AI in particular, we will have a panel discussion on that topic in the alternative track just before lunch. So check that out. With that said, I would like to introduce our conference years of the day. Here in the main track, we will have Josef Lindman Hörnlund. He's a board member of Gaia and co-founder of Moduli. In the alternative track, we have Daniela Petrelli, also a board member of Gaia and a senior data manager at AI Sweden. They will take care of you throughout the day and guide you through all these interesting conversations. With that said, I would like to hand over to Youssef to introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you and welcome. Thank you.